Hello and welcome to this video. We will be showing you how to create a PayPal account in Nigeria that sends and receives money. And also in this video, we will be verifying this PayPal account. Please. And so if you are interested in this, please stay through out this video. I will be taking you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to create and verify your PayPal account in Nigeria. The for this video is to beat the restrictions Nigerians have been facing when it comes to making money online and receiving them through PayPal. Like if you're a freelancer, if you're an affiliate marketer, if you're a content creator, you find out that some of these opportunities are hindered because your pay the PayPal account we have in Nigeria doesn't receive money. But in this video, I'll be taking you through that. For me as an affiliate for two foreign hosting companies, they pay me through PayPal. So that's the method, the method I use is what I'll be teaching you in this video. So we, uh, if you're interested in this, please do well to stay to the end of it. But if you're seeing my videos for the first time, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified subscribe when I do videos that have to do with Amazon affiliate marketing or that tip and trick that has to do with making money online. Just after this video as well, I'll be in the next video I'll be dropping, I'll be showing you how to add your card to Payoneer so that you can make payments through Payoneer via your card and as well how to receive your funds from Payoneer when you receive them to your local bank account, which is one other big thing we can deal with. So subscribe so that you get notified when these videos drop. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. Okay, the first thing I want you to notice about this PayPal account is that what I'm signing up here, if I just come to my dashboard and I say PayPal dot com sorry dot com and i hit at enter it will automatically direct me to the nigerian paper uh, interface and you can see in this nigeria paper interface you only have a personal account it doesn't have a business account so you can only open a personal account with the nigerian paper which allows you to only make payments like you can use it to make purchase you can just use it but you don't use it to receive money like your affiliate earning, your freelance earning, or maybe your earning from TikTok as a uh, content creator. This, what are the restrictions that have, um, comes with this account? But in this video, we'll be creating a bulletproof um, United Arab Emirates account. Like I told you, my personal account I have used for over five to six years and it's still functioning and I'm still using it up till this moment. So we'll be creating a United Arab Emirates paypal account so to create the united arab emirates paper that one i will just go to paypal i will just go to paypal.com slash ae i'll put the link to this in the description of this video so once i hit at paypal.com slash ae once i go to paypal.com slash ae i will enter Okay, that's it. Paypal.com uh, paypal.com slash AE. I'll put the link in the description of this video. So once I go to paypal.com slash AE, okay, let me show you the difference between the Nigerian paper and the United Arab Emirates paper. I will if you're still interested in uh, opening a little to paper, I will as well show you that. So you can see in the Nigerian paper I only have a personal account. Why in that of the UAE I have a personal and the business account so this business account like the personal account is just the same thing as having a nigerian account which only allow you to send payment why for a business account i can accept payment like you're seeing here you can make payment as you're seeing here so you pay and you receive so that is what this uh, united arab emirates paper is and this does not have to do with any form of uh, you don't need vpn you just create up this account and use this account and this account will function like you're in the UAE. So that is just this about it. So signing up on this uh, United Arab um, Emirates PayPal account, I'll just simply hit at sign up and you can see the interface. Once I come to sign up, you can see a personal account and a business account. So I'll just go ahead to, to click on business account. So when I click on business account, I will say continue. So you will now see uh, you should just tell me a little about your business. That's all paper will require of us. So he said uh, we should please wait while he's checking security. Security, okay. If it comes up with this, I'll just click I'm not a robot. Okay, so they've given me the interface to start uh, putting in my personal details. I'll start putting in these details so that I'll proceed to creating my account. So remember I clicked on the business, I saw personal account and I saw business account and went for the business account. So my first, my legal name should be the name that corresponds with the ID card I use. So let me just enter those details and we will come back. So I put my name, I put my email address I'll be using for this. Let me use 
Okay, that's the email I'll be using. Then I'll enter the password. I've entered my personal details. So once I've entered my personal details, let me just copy this password so I don't forget it. Once I, I enter my personal details, I will just come down here and I will agree and submit. Okay, sorry, I will check on this boss here. I will check it on and I will agree and submit. Boom, they, uh, they said IHK ready to use your paper account. So I'm close to finishing up on this account. So I'm just close to finishing up on this account. So the next thing I will just be doing now is to verify my account, which is like you see, activate your account. You can see skip for now, but I will be going ahead to verify my account. So this account will just start receiving and sending out earnings. So I will just go to start activating your account. So the business name I will use was to the business kind of, I would say so, uh, proprietorship that I'm in, the sole person running my business. You can see date of birth. I will use anything I want. Let me use 01, 1st January, and um, 01, let me just put whatever I want. Let me just say 1990, okay. Then what's your nationality? I will, at this point, I will leave this place at I will change this point to Nigeria. Why will I be changing this point to Nigeria? Because it will be required that they will send me a verification details to my phone number so that I don't miss out on this verification code when it comes. So I will change this to Nigeria. I'll change this to Nigeria. I will click on Nigeria. You can see what's your phone number. And my phone number, I will just simply change my phone number to what it's supposed to be, which is the Nigerian phone number, which is 23. So I will just scroll down to where I will see the Nigeria. Okay, that is Nigeria. I will pick Nigeria. Then I will now enter the phone number I will be using for this PayPal account, which is this number I have here. I will just put the, my phone number, which is this phone number I have here. Let me just put it 0906. Remove this first zero so that there will not be him. Okay. Okay, now I've entered the phone number. Remember, I'll be using the Nigerian phone number and the country code will still be Nigeria. My location is Nigeria. So in case I, it requires any verification, it will be done. So once I have entered it, you can see the PO, uh, PO bus. But please note, this PO bus, I will not be using a Nigerian PO bus address or any other uh, my city or the uh, location. I'll be using the address from the United Arab Emirates. So I'll just head on to this website, fake fake uh, UAE address. So once I go to fake UAE address, every other thing we are doing here is legit. It's just this area we just want to use to bypass. But this thing will not affect your account in any way. So once I come to that, I will hit at this best random tools. That's the first thing you see, best random tools. So once you click on best random tools, you can just see this address is okay for me to use. Like I have here, what are the information that required of me? PO boss. I'll just come to this first one. Here is the PO bus. You can see this one does not have a bus. So let me just look for the one that has a PO bus. Okay, like okay, this first one has a PO bus. I will just copy the PO bus. I will copy it. I will head on to this place. I will paste it. What's the next thing required of me? Additional information. Those ones are not necessary, but the uh, country is this, the state and province is UAE, uh, is Dubai. So I'll just copy Dubai and I will just put where I have the city. The city, I will put Dubai. And I will still pick on Dubai here. So once I have done that, I will just go to next. So once I've done that, I will just go to next. So once I hit at next, you can see, tell us about your business. What does your okay business registration number if they are if it's necessary but i don't have any business registration number I, I can just leave that for now so what's the primary currency i'm leaving it at usd what's the service type you provide like i will just say uh what will i put a uh, retail let me just put retail retail shops and i'll just pick anyone anyone you pick is in order so you can see do you have a business website i'll just leave it at no then what's your business address and all that i can just follow up this as the using the same thing i use from the other one i can just put up this as my business whatever whatever i can just pick up this paste it 
still use uh, my Dubai. So once I pick Dubai, I still pick Dubai here. And that will be it. So my business uh, information, that just it. So, and uh, we'll still go ahead. Okay, you can see this account has been created. Say, complete the customer identification process to avoid paper account interruption. So, let me just do the uh, customer identification process. This is the verification part of it. So, I'll just place Nigeria because I'll be using a Nigerian ID card. So, I'll use a Nigerian, who, who am I, uh, a Nigerian I will submit because they will require me to use an ID card to verify. But if I don't have a UAE, a business uh, ID card, so that might have an issue with it. So once I have done that, it will just tell me congratulations and my account is good for you. So I now have a UAE uh, PayPal account. So this is just a survey they want me to just do, but the account has been created. That is the most important thing. So this is just a survey. I will if you will have time to for this, you can just follow it up. It's no way I can just what more about providing i will just close it up and my account is set i will just go back to my home page my dashboard and this account is set for you so my uae paper account can send and can receive money into my local bank account so everything about this is set so like i told you i'll be showing you in the next video how to add your card to paper and how to withdraw from your paper account to your local bank account so that is it about creating a, a, a paypal account that sends and receives money here in nigeria so everything about this account is settled just that my network is being slow and that you can see issue sorry let me just show you what this uh, account is capable of you can see send you can see a request so i can actually send i can actually request from this so the ne only thing that i needed for me now to do to complete my verification of this account is to confirm my email so this email has been sent to me i'll just go there and confirm it on the email so once i confirm this on the email that's just the verification so you can see profile verify this paper account has been verified so the only thing remaining now is for me to verify my email which the email i'm using for this account is on my phone i'll just go there click on verify and it will verify so the next thing is to link my card so this account is up and running so if you have interest in uh, content that has to do with amazon affiliate marketing or other things that have to do with making money online this swans project is the plug for it so do well to subscribe to this channel and if there's anything else you want us to inquire you can just use the comment section of this video to ask your questions so that's it about that see you next time goodbye